Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a commission build that Shade Tree Fix-It Man has asked me to do. Now, if you remember, I did a video uh, basically on this kit. And how he wanted me to build it as his squadron aircraft that uh, he was in VF-191, I believe it is. And uh, anyway, you can go back and watch that video if you want to. But short of it all is he thought that this aircraft was going to be a little bit too small and he wanted one a little bit bigger. So he has since sent me this kit. Now this is the 148 scale Hasadawa F4E, or excuse me, F8E Crusader. And uh, <clears throat> This is going to be a really nice kit. I've already kind of gone through the box, but I'm going to take you through this real quick. So, he has sent me a set of metal landing gear, which I told him if I was going to be mailing this thing to him, that he might want to consider a set of metal landing gear. So, I'm going to be putting these in. Man, this is a small workbench. I keep running into everything. but So, the metal landing gear. Uh, he gave me some photo etch. Well, not gave, but he, he purchased some photo etch. It's a cockpit oh, detail okay. set. There, I think you get a good picture of it. But uh, it's, it's a lot of the instrument panel, uh, the, uh, the seat harnesses, and, and stuff like that. So <clears throat> I think the, uh, the cockpit's going to look real nice with this detail set in it. Now, the model itself, uh, like I said, Hasegawa. And uh, it's got the typical Hasegawa instruction sheet, but it shows you um, a, a pretty detailed graphic of where the, the decals are going to be. And of course, it breaks down you know, all the parts as they go together, which uh, yeah, it gives you a little history on the Crusader as well. So really nice decal sheet in this one. And of course, like I said, I'm going to be building this as a VF... Uh, 191 uh, aircraft and I still need to do my research on what Buno number because he wants the aircraft to be aircraft 110 so I'm going to take the 101 and I'm just going to kind of cut it in half and flip it around to where it says 110 but uh, that'll be easy so um, but I'll, I'll have to look and see what I do for the Buno number now Hasegawa gives you this uh, this nice clear um, sprue of clear parts and it's got some some dark colored parts in there too and I'm not real sure exactly what those are but I'm sure that they're going to be something uh, that I'll need in the process of building and of course uh, it looks like there's several sprues inside the bag so I'm going to go ahead and open this up on this sprue you have the upper main wing and the lower main wing uh, you have the horizontal um, or the vertical uh, tailplanes that go on the aircraft. Now the one thing about the F-8 is it has a variable incident wing, which means the wing or the fuselage of the aircraft, the wing actually tilts up when they're trying to land or take off. And, and it actually increases the angle of attack on the wing, which means they can fly at a slower speed. And it still provides visibility for the air crew or for the pilot. So that's gonna be the challenge of this kit is to build it um, Shade Tree Fix-It Man wants the the uh, the wing in the extended position, so I'm going to have to build it that way and then ship it to him. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to package this so that I can mail it to him and not have this wing get broken off. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, okay, on this sprue, um, it looks like we have the main flaps for the wing. We have the ventral fins and. These look like they might be the leading edge slats for the wings. Um, we have some wing pylons over here on this side. 
Uh, this is part of the ejection seat. It actually has an aircrew figure. Um, I'm not real sure if I'm going to end up using that or not. And some landing gear doors. Again, nose wheel, main wheel. Um, this is the, the main landing gear, which I'm not going to be using this because I've got the metal set. Um, but yeah, there's uh, just various pieces. There's some cockpit pieces that are in here, the nose strut. But like I said, this, this landing gear stuff, the majority of it I'm not going to use because I have that metal set uh, that we're going to be building this with. So, and then I got uh, some more. Um, these apparently are rocket pods, uh, I'm guessing, kind of what they look like. Um, some more armament. Uh, and this is the little radar uh, pod that will go on the nose of the aircraft. Got another small sprue of, again, what looks to be rocket pods. And then the last sprue that's in here actually has the two fuselage halves in it. Now you can tell by looking at this, this is going to be a pretty sizable model. Okay, this one is not going to be tiny. And one thing that I do like about it is this right here. So when you put it together, because the intake is on the front uh, of, of the, uh, the fuselage here underneath the cockpit, this is the intake trunk. So it's actually going to look like this piece and this piece will be glued together. It'll look like the intake actually goes up into the fuselage. And, and it gives it a really nice look, a nice illusion uh, of the real aircraft. So that's kind of a, a really neat thing about the 148 scale. And it was one of the things about the 172nd scale that he had sent me. It did not have that intake trunk. And it was going to be really hard to overcome that visual cue of just having the, the, the hole in the front of the model and nothing else there. So um, anyway, I think this is going to look a whole lot better when I get it done. That is all the pieces for the Hasegawa 148 scale F8E Crusader. And of course, I'm going to try to build this into the F8J standard. Um, now visually, there's not a whole lot of differences between the E and the J um, other than the J could actually fly with uh, external fuel tanks on the wings. Um, it was plumbed, the wing was plumbed for fuel transfer, whereas the F8E Crusader was not. So that's basically the only visual differences between the two. But like I said, I am going to try to build this to the F8J standard, which was uh, what their uh, squadron was flying when he was in the Navy. And uh, again, this is the Shade Tree Fix It Man, and I'm going to be doing a commission build of this model. So. That's what's on the workbench, guys. Um, and eventually, I'm gonna get around to maybe fooling with this one as well. But uh, for right now, it's just gonna kind of go back into the stash and uh, we'll see if it comes up in rotation later. So that's all I got. Appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Take care, God bless, and remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.